everyone, it's Kim Redding with Y Denton, and I'm here with Gabby and Sam, the creators of Insurgent that you see behind us, and the Cookie Thief, right? Is that mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. We're still with the Cookie Thief. So mm -hmm. I got to interview her a while ago, and so I want to see how things are going. Yeah. And also how it's created, like how you're still doing the Cookie Thief mm -hmm. and Insurgent and what that looks like. Yeah. So... Business has been booming, which has been really nice, but it's still pretty much the two of us and our friend Alec. Um, so I'm still doing custom cakes. I'm doing more wholesale orders, working out of our commissary kitchen. Um, so I'm wholesaling to Golden Boy Coffee and then also um, Cava Culture as well. Yes. And then me and Sam are doing the trailer more full time. Okay. So we're doing that closer to more of the week. So like Tuesday through Wednesday or Tuesday through Thursday. Sometimes Friday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or the or, or insurgent, the trailer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then like Fridays. Too. Okay. Mm -hmm. You've had a lot of recognition lately about your food and what y'all create. Um, so who creates that? Uh, savory wise, usually me and then our, our uh, sous chef Alec. Okay. He's our uh, more than like a sous chef. He's like our number two. He helps out with like everything. Um, but he and I pretty much do all the savory stuff. And right. then when it comes to desserts, like we just we don't bother Kenny. <laughs> Whatever she wants to make sure. Whatever she is. creates. Yeah. yeah. Which I love. And and if you don't know about their background, would you please tell them about your background yeah. and where where you were from and came coming to Texas again? Because mm -hmm. we'll we'll try to cover that too a little bit. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, yeah, I'm originally from here, or I moved to Den when I was 11. Um, I'm originally from Abilene, but uh, I went to what's now called the Brown Academy, the uh -huh. Advanced Technology Complex. Right. It was like a tech school, and I like. I was a bad student. I just wanted to cook, or I didn't want to cook, but I just wanted to take a class that um, I didn't have to be at my home campus. Really? Uh -huh. And uh, after a while, I really loved it. And I eventually went to the CIA in New York because they had like, a recruiter come. Okay. Uh, and so I moved to New York after like a month after graduating. And then she and I were in the same like uh, graduating class. And that's right. where we ended up meeting. Uh, and then you came to Texas. <laughs> yep. And what then a, I mean, that's a really cool story that you left at 18, mm -hmm. yeah. 19, yes. and then you came back and brought this here mm -hmm. yeah. and this amazing <laughs> talent. Thank well, you. We, uh, right? We graduated in 2017, and then we, we spent a good, like, four or five years just moving around. So we, mm -hmm. we worked at a seasonal resort in Wyoming for three summers, and in the winters between those, like, we worked at, um, we moved to California. And I worked at the French Laundry, which is a three Michelin star restaurant. And then right. she worked at Bouchon Bakery, which was owned by the same restaurant group. Right. Uh, just, just down the street, making pastries and um, they made really all kinds of sweets. Okay. And then um, we spent three months in the Caribbean in 2018. And we worked at a resort there. Um, part of Also part of Relay and Chateau, which is like an organization we stayed with for a long time. Um, so that was in Grenada. And then... After 2019, we started, where we worked at in Wyoming was part of a bigger company. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, I had gotten promoted to a corporate level and started like doing hotel openings and then the pandemic hit. Right. <laughs> so everything was kind of thrown out of whack. And we had just moved to um, right outside Chicago where like the corporate headquarters was. Okay. And then she had gotten a job in Chicago as like a pastry chef. So right. throughout like 2020, it was really just like, I stayed with the same company, just like helping opening hotels and just kind of like working when I could because so much was closed. Right. And then at the end of 2020, we kind of just got to a point where we were like, I'm not really happy with what we're doing anymore. And our lease was almost up at our house. So we just decided to pack it up. And we, we moved back here because we had like a support system and we wanted to do our own thing. But we didn't know like what that would be. And then after like weeks of ideas, we are like, let's do it. Yeah, trailer. it evolved <laughs> into a food trailer. Okay, so <laughs> are you... In, uh, do you feel like you've been embraced by the culture here in Denton and that well received? Have mm -hmm. you enjoyed it? Or do you want to be back in the hotel industry? Like, what are you thinking about that? Yeah, so um, Denton has been really supportive. Um, they're really supportive of small local businesses, which is amazing. Right. And then we also have a huge array of just local farmers to pick from. So we have all these different farmers that grow such different produce throughout the seasons. Um, so that's been really nice. Well, and explain what Insurgent is, because she said just a little bit of it about farm to table, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, and you you lo use our local farmers, mm -hmm. which is supporting local, which is what we're doing here. Mm -hmm. And then tell us a little bit about your dishes and why it's different than most of the other food trucks, the majority of all the food mm -hmm. trucks. Yeah. So, essentially, Insurgent is like a rebellion of sorts. So, Sam touched on it a little bit before that we worked 
in fine dining establishments. Right. Um, the work culture was a little toxic and they'd also promote like seasonality, but they weren't so seasonal and they'd have a lot of like food waste and like excess, just like waste all around. So we're rebelling against that. Mm -hmm. We're also rebelling against just like the notion that all food trucks just have to be like fried food or just like right. specific like genres. So everyone has their own concepts. So it could be like Mexican food or whatever, but Insurgent is just farm to go box. So everything is just based off of what the farmers have and just local and seasonality. And, and just, you create it, you yeah. create whatever. So it's not, not, it's not always repetitive, right? Mm -hmm. It's not, there's sometimes a favorite dish maybe, but it's not repetitive. Mm -hmm. And so it's a different experience each time. Yeah. yeah. The goal, the goal was like at, over time and it's now starting to happen since we've been open over a year, but the goal was to have people like come to us and then tell us about like their favorite dish that they had. And that one time we had right. like blank versus saying like, oh, my favorite thing from there is always that because they always have X, mm -hmm. Y, and Z. Absolutely. So it's, it's half like farm to table or like farm to go box, but also half like we, we like to say whatever we want because right. me, Gabby and, and Alec included, like we all just, we like to cook and we like to make things. and. After a while, like we're doing hotel openings as well, like it got to a point where it's very repetitive and you had to like streamline everything. And um, you're like always doing the same thing month after month. And so we just, we don't like doing the same thing all the time. We like to bring back like- The classics. Yeah, classics are like favorite dishes that right. people enjoy. Like the Koji chicken sandwich, people like that one a lot. And it's I, a lot of yes, fun. Yes, yes. But uh, yeah, we just, we like to change it up constantly. And then eventually we turn it into like a brick and mortar and we can actually do more Stuff. Yeah. You're actually doing a really good job. <laughs> but you're actually doing a really smart way to promote your business and then building up, right? And then getting the brick and mortar mm -hmm. because then you have that following already built up. So yeah. they're also just so expensive. Yeah, <laughs> they are. <laughs> they are and people but you gotta understand I've seen so many people open up their businesses with the big you know, a, a big shell mm -hmm. and then trying to survive mm -hmm. as to what y'all are doing, which is very smart. Thank you. And y'all are young and y'all are doing right <laughs> and you're creative and you brought a lot to Denton. So we're so excited that you're here. Thank you. We're excited what you've done for the community. How do people find you? Uh, so the best way to find us is on Instagram. So we don't have a Facebook currently. I do post on like the Dent Downtowners pretty yes. often, just like where we'll be. Um, but on Instagram, we post our monthly calendars. And then we also post just different pictures of our food and different events too. Okay. And then to find your food truck, it's mm -hmm. going to be right here? Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Usually during the weekdays, we're here uh, between Cobb and Steve's. And then uh, we kind of bounce around between the Denton Community Market up the street right. and then the Coppell Farmers Market. Okay. Um, We've gotten a lot of inquiries here lately, so we might be doing pop-ups in Decatur and kind of around DFW. But oh, eventually, awesome. we, we'd like to get to a point where we can do like the Dallas Farmers Market and right. like do farther into Dallas. Because when we open a brick and mortar, it'll probably be closer to like the Dallas, Dallas, Dallas area. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah, like you said, like building a following. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's like years down the road. No, that's really yeah. good. And and I appreciate them being here because it's hot today, right? <laughs> yeah, it's very hot. Well, sorry, so, sorry. <laughs> no, and, and we're all burning up. So I appreciate the time that yeah. you're, and, and the energy that you're giving us to let us learn more about you guys and that kind of behind the scenes because you have such a delicious menu. Thank you. And it's nice to know your story behind it mm -hmm. because to bring her to Texas, right, yeah. is, is wonderful. And that- um, It was a big ass for sure. <laughs> yeah. And so it's, it, it probably was. Mm -hmm. And then say, hey, move to Texas, let's go and run a food truck. Yeah. So that's awesome. It's definitely different. Yeah. And my mom lives like out in the country too, so I had to explain like Denton's way different. But it's also been really exciting because Denton's a very different town versus when you're a kid. Yes. Because I, as a, as a kid, like there's not really much to do for like a high school year. Right. So like as an adult actually getting to go to and like speakeasies and yeah and farmers markets and yeah. learn like yeah. yeah. yes and, and appreciate what you have and mm -hmm. what your local yeah. support so. yeah. coffee shops and golden Bowl yeah and so, so. <laughs> well thank you for following us too and and guys if you um, ever have any questions look up insurgent online and look on instagram oh that's amazing okay i would have ordered this on a food truck and it's really good and this is our market special so Make sure when you come by, ask for their market special, but they season this really well. So it's not too spicy, very flavorful. And I don't do food reviews, but I can tell you this, I really, really enjoy it. And I'd tell you if I didn't. <laughs> okay, this is the Koji chicken sandwich. 
And what I'm excited about is the dressing on there that said it's like with deviled eggs and aioli. So, which I never, I think I'm getting older now that I'm saying all this stuff. Hold on, don't watch. <laughs> That's really good. I won't talk with food in my mouth, but that's amazing. Okay, I'm really impressed. I, I haven't eaten much of their food as much as my other friends have, but you need to try it. Insurgent's amazing, and they're so talented. All right, I'm going to eat my food. So I'm a little spoiled right now because she brought me one of her desserts that she just made. So can you explain your dessert? Yeah, absolutely. So the desserts also like the menu change often. Um, so it's finally stone fruit season. So it's got an olive oil almond cake on the bottom, some honey frozen yogurt on top, a little caramel drizzle and a little crumble, and then some stone fruit, just peaches, um, grilled on the flat top and some butter, and then a peach granita. I'm so excited to try this. <laughs> I, I can't even imagine sharing this with y'all and explaining how delicious this is. So thank you yes, again. You are amazing. Thank and you. You're I amazing. appreciate your talent. Thank you. Yeah. Enjoy. Thank you. I get to try the dessert and you don't, but I want to show you this because it's a little bit crispier on top just because it was the frozen yogurt part and then the cakes on the bottom and all the fancy words that she said with this, but I'm excited to try it. I'm not making this up. It's really good. A little bit of cinnamon, but the peaches are so fresh and juicy. And then you have the yogurt, a little frozen custard on top, and then with the bread or the cake. I know I'm butchering what she just said, but just show her this picture or show her, tell you one of the, the fancy desserts. Come try it at Insurgent and then don't ever skip dessert or have dessert first, like everybody usually says. Thanks for watching.